the Electoral Commission issued the program for conducting Women Council and Committee Elections 2022, revealing that the exercise will start in the month of June at the village level and end in August at the national level. Increasively for women, but we encourage men to, to support their wives, their mothers, their sisters to, to get involved in this. But uh, the voters and the candidates will be women. These are women councils. They are exclusively for women. Following the announcement by the Electoral Commission, different political parties have come out publicly to add members, especially the women, to take part in the elections. So we are not worried about our competitors. We are actually concentrating on our strategies on how we can win these elections. We have won a number of elections. Uh, even in the youth elections, we are able to carry the day despite the challenges and despite being new on the block. Another party that has now come out to sound to urge its members to participate is the Democratic Party. According to Aisha Waligo, the chairperson for women is leading the Democratic Party, they have prepared for the election and that they have started mobilizing women across the country. As a party, we have mobilized by closure of business. Yesterday, we were so happy that even uh, the party had gotten candidates in those areas where we previously never had candidates. We have candidates in Kapel Byong, we have candidates in Quenya, we have ca candidates in Kweni, we have candidates in Kumi. So that is very energizing. Our role as Democrats here is to give Ugandan solutions to the challenges facing this country. According to Waligo, participation in the Women's Council election will help lay a foundation for the 2026 presidential elections. I'm calling upon opposition members. Let us be very, be very vigilant on this because village becomes the big, the first and the strongest unit of local governance and we must be part of it. We just need to be very vigilant. When it comes on 23rd, 24th, any returning officer of a village who might have made ghost voters, then you're going to face the wrath of the opposition parties. After all, we are tired. DP have also expressed concern on the election not being conducted in the form of a secret ballot at the village level. The constitution stipulates it very clearly that elections should be by secret ballot. And we're wondering why this, these uh, elections for special interest groups at these levels are typically put to be in open, you know. So that is a very big challenge, by the way, for most of the women. The Democratic Party, which is the oldest political party in the country, wants the Electoral Commission to handle the election in the manner that will be violent free. The elections will take place on the 7th July at the village level. Sarana Kandi, CTV for PM Edition.